let's go ahead and start working on our uh, second light. In the, the second light, I want to be uh, a blue tint, really some really uh, a hint of reflection of blue on my uh, object. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, simply duplicate this guy. So control drag and I'm going to rename it to the uh, blue light. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reduce the size to something like maybe uh, 650 would be possibly enough. And I'm going to uh, delete this material. I really don't need this material to be applied to it. Uh, sorry, what we did. Okay, there we go. This is our blue light. The material is gone, which is cool. So, uh, but I want this plane actually. So let's just go ahead and control drag. Make sure it is exactly. Also, let's go ahead and delete this material here. I'm going to make sure it's something like uh, 650 and 650 here. I'm going to go ahead and select this light. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and define a sort of a target for this. So I'm going to create a quick null. Uh, and we're going to name this guy target and let's see let's go ahead and put this guy maybe about here I'm going to select all of this and hit alt and G and name this null my blue light so I have a bit more control over it I'm going to apply a cinema 4d target tag to this light and define this as my target and now if I uh, go ahead and move my light here, it will always uh, look at the uh, basic geometry that we have here, which is quite exactly what we want. So let me go ahead and uh, just in order to make sure, uh, let me go ahead and turn off this uh, overhead light here. So we just have this. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the uh, size of my light is exactly as my plane so I'm going to change its uh, size to be exactly 650 and 650 and we can actually uh, set up a really quick espresso to just make sure everything is exactly I want because uh, I want to be able to uh, you know increase the size of my light and decrease it and the plane should uh, automatically follow which is a really simple expresso to do so let's go ahead and quickly do that I'm gonna create a new expresso get my light in here and go to my detail tab so size Y and size size X and size Y here and also I'm going to have this plane here let's just name it a blue plane because we're gonna have an orange plane also so I'm gonna get this blue plane in here and put the uh, width and height in here so let's go ahead and connect them there we go so this way the moment we increase or decrease our uh, size X and Y of our light the uh, plane will be automatically look at this for example 1000 you can see the plane is uh, completely working so that's cool and the next thing I want to have a quick material uh, for my uh, plane as we did it for the overhead light uh, I'm going to make sure the uh, color of this plane will always match the color of my light so let's go ahead and create a quick new material this is gonna be our uh, blue light material okay and for the blue light material I don't need color I'm just going to go to the luminance and uh, use uh, um, this uh, color here uh, as uh, the general uh, lighting color and I'm, uh, then I can go ahead and define a gradient for my uh, luminance here again go to the box and we can go ahead and invert the knots or we can use the other texture that we have and copy it I'm just going to stick with what we have right now here and uh, uh, let's see then we can go ahead and change the mix mode to multiply so the general uh, color will be always uh, this way. I'm just going to actually darken it up a bit. Maybe something like this and go to the alpha and there we go. Enable the alpha and let's 
go to something like a plane so we can see it better see what exactly we have here I'm just going to darken it up a bit and we'll see what we're gonna get I'm gonna turn off the reflectance here and go to my luminance and maybe something like this would be enough <laughs> and now I'm going to my express attack here and this is the material that we have and we want this color to be always the color of our light so I'm going to have my light color so let's go ahead to our light color okay and the color will always control the color of our material and then I'm going to the light and make sure this is the color of our light so there we go here is the color of our light and always it will be exactly as what we have here so I'm going to quickly uh, select this light here and move it around I want to make it in the to be in the back slightly maybe something like this actually before I move it I'm just going to create a duplicate from it really quickly so let's just go ahead and just this is gonna be our orange light for our next lesson just have a background copy here I'm just going to disable everything so we don't have anything here there we go this is our blue light and let's go ahead and start positioning it exactly uh, the way we want it to be I'm going to maybe somewhere here sorry let's see maybe somewhere here and if I add a bit more fall off here let's turn on our overhead lights so see where exactly this thing is so definitely we need to make sure our blue light is uh, kind of let's put it down here somewhere maybe in here I'm going to select my light and put it back a bit more maybe something like this will be what we want I'm gonna apply the material to the um, plane here so let's go ahead and apply this so this is what we have for the moment I am thinking we might be able to put this light here let's see okay let's control Z that I'm gonna put this thing maybe about here okay so let's see what this light is gonna do to our scene we have other lights turned off so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and quickly save the scene and see how this is going to do to our lighting alone okay so here is some blue tint as you can see it's very nice and um, <clears throat> I can go ahead and reduce maybe the amount of lighting a bit for this light and see what we have here okay I just want a, a, a blue tint and I think it is uh, quite nice what we have right now especially when we add the overhead light here let's see how they are gonna look uh, combined together okay we are uh, seeing this in the uh, render so I'm going to apply a quick compositing tag uh, to these guys let's go ahead and create a null for this guy too so let's go ahead rename it overhead here and I'm going to create a quick compositing tag because we really don't want these guys to be to be seen in our uh, render so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's not gonna be seen by the camera the same thing for our blue light let's go ahead and render and see what we're gonna get this time okay it is definitely looking promising and a lot of things will happen when we actually apply the orange color and uh, the orange light that we have in our scene let me get closer a bit to see how exactly scene are looking in more closer shot a lot of shots in this scene are really close so it would be better if our camera is actually much more closer to actually see how the lighting is gonna happen as you can see the uh, mixture between the light and the main hour headlight and the blue light really makes the uh, scene pop up and we can see this hint of blue that's really makes uh, our render much more nicer I guess 
very cool very cool stuff here happening and I am loving it I think um, when we apply the uh, look at this blue here which really makes the lighting much more promising and especially it's from coming from back so we will see most of it if it was from front uh, it would possibly sort of uh, would be more of an opaque situation here but this is a very nice situation that we have look at the lighting I, I'm quite liking it now uh, the next step would be to actually go ahead and apply the orange color and see how exactly the orange color is gonna have effect on our uh, scene so I'm gonna start working on my orange color in the next lesson